It is a nice day outside. Had to get a brew and come down. Not too early, it's only 9.30. It's only 9.30, but I'm gonna start by uh, getting some tunes going. And uh, we're cleaning up, really. Well, I got things pretty, pretty well cleaned up. And uh, when I got distracted, I decided to completely tear down my fan. Wash the hell out of it. I cleaned it all out, lubed it up, uh, scrubbed off all the rust on the inside. It took about an hour and a half. That was actually a lot of fun. Um, it hit me as I was standing here staring at this that I had my return line coming out of the feed side here. <clears throat> So right now I'm currently switching out hoses. I took that one, uh, I had a 90 degree on it and it was extra long over to here. And I took that 90 degree and put it here and ran it in there and then cut it. And I'm about to thread it through. This is it right here. It's another 90s on the inside. So it'll go in like that. Uh, I'm about to cut it, but I want to get this rubber grommet I used to just have the return line on it. I cut that down so it'd be about two widths of this hose right here. Boop, boop. I'm just gonna stick it in there and, um, but I gotta take this guy out. So I'm gonna pull this dude up and out and then take that hose out. Just make it a lot easier. I could squeeze it in there, but I don't wanna scratch anything and make it easier. Sometimes harder is the easiest way. All right, just got that grommet in there. Feeling pretty good about that. So it'd be a little harder. It fought me a little bit, but not too much. But seated in there pretty nice and good, so um, I'm happy with that. All right, so I had to take that back off to get this through, get that through. Not a big deal. Just took me a second. It was easier than I thought it would be, so. Now I got that dude in here, so now I'm gonna put this and hook it up to this guy. Alright, fuel line is hooked back up, runs out, get out that grommet, easy please. That grommet there, got the other res reservoir line run back in, you see them there, Jesus. Um, got it curved, it's got its natural curve to it, so I got it going right there, I'll cut it wherever I need to be. <clears throat> Maybe be like right up like that. Sorry, I'd be right like that with a 180 degree. <clears throat> I gotta figure out what size fitting this is. And then uh, do that, it shouldn't be hard. It's plus performance, so um, I'm pretty sure they have it right on their website. Whatever. But it comes out here. I'm gonna have to finagle this tube like such. What I wanna do is get a bracket, put it on like that. So it looks like this. I don't know if it'll be bracketed down right there. I think I got something I can do that with. Yeah, this is the same stuff I got for the brake line. I think that'll get you, I don't know, it'll either be that or close to it. I can't tell if those are the same size or not. This one looks bigger. Probably all just the same size. I reckon. Uh, don't want to use a white one. I'll just wait and use a different one if I have to. But I bet this one actually looks even bigger. Let me give this one a shot. Oh yeah, that's what it's made for right there. Perfect. I just got to figure out a bolt size and add a ribbon it, I reckon. Easier said than done though because getting a... Doing a hole at this angle. I might have to come from up underneath maybe even. Figure out where I want it and then do it. I don't think I'm going to get any kind of drill bit in there. Yes, sir. Okay, well, I just drilled a hole through there. I used a big, long extension in the drill there. Came at it from underneath, up and through. Just to get it straight across. It's a double thick right there, obviously, because of the thing. I'll go ahead and take the chance at that. So, now I'm just going to... Just try and squeeze a rivnut in there. I had to break out the old rivnut gun, which I have not used yet. 
Mar song because it came with missing the thing I wanted, the mandrel tip that I needed for it. So, but I'm getting use out of it now, finally, um, like six months later. So yeah, let me go ahead and throw that on there. At least try. All right, let's get that guy on there. Fought me quite a bit. One thing you can see. Yeah, you can't really. I just put a nut on the back side of it. Actually, you can see pretty good. Put a nut on the back side of it as I was tightening it down. <clears throat> so, it's good and sturdy in there. It's been going nowhere. Um, again, crown it with the reservoir. I think it looks great coming out of there. Looks perfect. It's all tightened down now. Um, I thought about making one of these for this side again. But when I was looking at um, the piece that I took out from here, that actually looks like my throwing a 120 on there. That might actually just oh, the old knees might actually reach it. Was it 120 degree, something kind of like that, but. Whatever it is. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna hold off on cutting one just in case. Anyway, I can save that. And now that I got that taken care of, I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, bolts and washers in these rib nuts I already put in. Um, get these brake lines tightened down and um, right where they're supposed to be. or something but that's because this is at an angle they're pretty much straight straight as we're gonna get looking good all right so i was looking around the garage for something else to do and uh throwing the bumper on really quick here um, to see what kind of space i have for this power steering pump i haven't checked this out yet so we'll find out together if i can probably maybe Maybe squeeze that in there. Let me just get this. Well, it's really tight on this side. Um, you can see there's like no room for the hoses there, which if there's different hoses, it'd be different fittings, so I'm not too worried about that. It does want to see the bolts line up there. So I can kind of get it in there. It's actually not half bad, but I have to these two back here that's not too bad at all I don't know if you can see these two bolts that like hold the camera of course it gets in the way these two right here that might actually work bye Joe uh, yeah, that's the uh, bumper all the way on The full bracket, so it won't even have the full bracket, so it'll fit even better. I'm probably just chop it off right there. Just use that back part. Maybe try and make some kind of L brace for this side. Yeah, that's actually good news, man. That is good news. I'm gonna make a bunch of stuff on this later, but um, that is a five pound CO2 sitting in a bracket. I had hoped in my head. I got this whole system planned. Um, in my head, I started doing it like this in the trunk. But then, um, if I ever need to get to my, 
It's going to be actuated by a pull cable. Again, more on this later. But that pull cable will be taut. And um, uh, if I uh, need to get to my spare tire, because this bottom part folds up, if I need to get to that down here, then I, uh, I'm going to have to set off my CO2 system. So I was like, oh, maybe I could squeeze it in here. And I can't really get it in there. I could if I decided to cut off a couple pieces of this. So that's one option. Just have it here and cut off a couple pieces of wood like right here. And that way it would be. Um, or else make it separate. I had another hinge right there. Maybe I could do that. I think I do have one more hinge, awkwardly. Um, so that'd be funny to put it right there. I don't know why I would need a hinge right there, but I don't know why I would need a fire suppression system. So, um, my other thought was sticking it, since I sit so damn far back, that the back of the seat actually sits like there, and you can see where the seat sits. So I thought about putting it right behind the driver's seat, because I'm 6'5". This is still an ES sedan. Put it right behind the driver's seat. I don't know. Uh, I'm planning on using this kind of tubing. Um, that is too small. That's three eighths. I'm gonna need at least half inch, or at least a quarter inch. So it's uh, three eighths. Nothing else, but yeah. All right. Next day, um, cables finally came. This is supposed to fit in here. Probably with the powder coating on it. Doesn't want to slide on there. And this might be a little too thin, we'll see. Um, I did hit it, the top part of it with the zip zip zip. So, um, yep, I'm gonna take the old uh, file here, file off some of this paint on here and see if I can't squeeze that in there.
see here, I got this guy in. Uh, it's kind of loosely. See these bolts in here. Uh, those aren't even the right bolts in the right spots. I'm pretty sure only one of these guys are. Uh, yeah, but looks interesting. Transmission is in. I've seen some initial clearancing. Sitting here. All right, my coughing, sneezing fit is over. All right, so we got these guys um, tacked in on there, sitting there. So now I'm gonna kind of push these around and see if I can't get the end, end tips uh, onto those end tips. All right, so I got that thing on. As you can see, it's, it's way behind the uh, ball boost ones. But luckily, I didn't throw it away. These ones sit here. Ah. It doesn't want to go because of the uh, pressure on it. But uh, once it's up and off of there, we'll be able to get this guy on. You can kind of see what I'm trying to get at right here. That dude will be back behind that dude. Etc. Etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap these guys out real quick. Maybe I'll clean this off. All right, moment of truth. Clips are in. These are as good as I can get. Here's to hoping. Here's to getting rid of a black line. Thanks, LED. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to do it. Oh. Oh. Two, three, four, five. I don't know where doing something. I want to drill out this hole and get it a little bit bigger. Get it on there, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So apparently I just need to knock a little bit of the rust off it. So there's a first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and the rust does go. It doesn't take much to do it, but it just doesn't like to. It's probably pretty dry in there right now anyways. It's probably in a few years but there we go hills yeah now i can figure out how i'm gonna tack them down back there and, uh, So, proof of concept seems to be working pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna throw my uh, clutch slave on here, maybe. Let's see where that dude's gonna live. Uh, hopefully, happily ever after. Right around here. Actually, I'll wait on that. Um, no point in getting that thing all signed up. But, yep, super excited about this. extra excited about that so yeah buddy all right transmission mocked up uh, cables are in I got my little tunnel things in those look really good I think they look really good I was gonna see them from that angle I'm gonna see them from this angle if they even look at them if anyone even looks but yep, those are nice and firm in there. It still goes through all the shifting. 
and go inside. I'm gonna kind of ride it like this naturally. So I'm gonna try and figure out maybe I can bring them up. <laughs> like behind the radio kind of thing. I don't know, I'm gonna take a peek and see um, where this heater core is gonna go. Go from there, I guess, but probably end up trying to shove them down something like this. They're getting weird, so yeah, something down, something like that, maybe. Keep them tucked in, just up here like this. We have to see what this heater is going to look like once it's in there. Well, I'm judging by the distance between here. In here and I know that this part knocks up against this this has to come up and move out and around that these are probably gonna be fine living just like that hopefully and just like that it's kind of free floating there and down there they still get through all the gears I think oh something oh I lost my uh, <clears throat> I forgot to put my pin back in. I was wondering there. I They apparently still work well in this orientation. Let's see what they look like out here. Yeah, they look fine, they look great. Couldn't ask for better. Um, that's what I had in my head, so something actually worked out. <laughs> I was trying to finagle this in there a little better. I don't know if it's the, uh, what's going on, but it's not quite fitting in there right. I'm gonna keep working at it, but I'll make it, you know, it's the OEM one that fits in there, so just gotta keep messing with it until it gets in there just right. It's almost there, but looks a little weird. I'm glad I was able to keep this, the original one here, the original one here, um, blocked off this plate. I have this one for this, but <coughs> it's gonna be a big, a big one of these where the wires come out. Um, so that's a whole different, whole different day, whole different video. But, uh, yeah. So, two things are next. One, remove this, this so I can paint down there and then I'll be done completely painting the engine bay, etc. And then now that I have these, I can figure out exactly, I can put the heater core back in and figure out exactly where I can kind of do tie downs on these whether it be excessive amount of zip ties or actually doing um, one of these stainless steel dealy bobs like this guy right here. This looks really good, I'm really happy about that. Yay, it's coming along!
recipe for which of these American Thanksgiving classics? A, roast turkey. B, green bean casserole. C, mashed potatoes. I'm gonna go with B. I'm gonna go mashed potatoes. C, mashed potatoes. Well, I'm sorry to both of you today. Because the answer is A, roast turkey. A. Damn right. I got this guy bolted back down good and tight good and tucked um, this thing is back on there tight and I chopped a couple things off the back um, there's like a bolt thing that was sticking out in the brackets I cut that off and I was actually able to get out like another inch so this went all the way back perfectly fine it's great I can't see if uh, you can see but definitely some interesting roomage back there. Uh, so I'm this for myself to look at. Um, I got the blower sitting over there in the motor. It's gonna live right there. I'm just seeing where that's going. Trying to figure out uh, what kind of tubage I would need to get that over here. This door. See what kind of tubage I pulled out of here. Sorry, I scratched my hand. Um, I got it all sitting right there, so I'm gonna grab that and take a peek. I'm so sure you can see this piece right here. Left there. It's underneath this. Tucks in up here like that. And that's where it ends for that. Um, so if I want to extend it, I'm gonna have to um, figure out where this half is. Uh, here's a dash, I believe. Uh, I should be able to spin this guy. Right. Uh, right here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, there, but anyways, um, figure out what's up with that. But I got at least got this oval part here going over. I'm not sure what's going on with this. I don't remember taking this stuff apart. It was back in like February, end of January, so it's all just me kind of trying to remember. So I guess we get started on the blower side of things. It's back right up in there. Share it over here and see what I can get done. This is just kind of sitting on there right now. The only thing that's holding it in is one little screw. Basically just holding it there so I can see what I need to do. All right. These guys are back in and bolted down. Uh, I ran all the radio stuff since it splits right here down there. Tuck that in right here. Then this radio stuff. I'm gonna tuck it in there. Up around. Uh, easy mile like that. Like such. And that'll be that just gotta figure out where to uh, zip tie it up and back in there or something more like that radio stuff just like that stuff will obviously be a lot more tighter and uh, more tucked in and put not and shove back in there just the radio thing. oh Jesus the potholes getting worse every day okay. Radio antenna, all my little selectors, AC, quote unquote AC selectors. And this is some clock dashboard stuff, windshield wiper, got a 
I remember how that's run. I think that goes out the main hole. Open out the uh, those the you LD know, underhood fuse box stuff. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put that. And you got all this uh, main relay wiring rat's nest. But I may or may not keep, well I mean, I'm gonna be getting rid of the rat's nest. It's just a matter of whether or not I'm keeping the main relay. Might go for the delete and just do like a little relay fuse. Um, this guy, I don't know where this guy belongs. At least I thought I did. No, oh, this isn't the one for uh oh. Alright, I got a mystery to solve as where as that goes. So, uh, obviously somewhere around here somewhere. I've still got uh, another piece. i got to remember where this thing goes on here at. Just going to select the box. If I remember correctly, it goes underneath somewhere or something. It's related to times, but it feels good to get that back up. Um, technically, I could put the dash back on right now, I think, but I'm going to hold off because i got some more rooting to do as far as wiring and uh, just a bunch of stuff, but that's looking really, really good right now. I'm super happy. Super happy. All this stuff crammed in there. That little lamp gets pretty damn hot. Why is it bright if you look at it wrong? So, we're going to get a vacuum in here. Zip tie some of this stuff up and get a vacuum in here. This piece, I have no idea what the hell this where this shit goes. What kind of selector it's for. I have a feeling it's over there somewhere. Yeah, that's gotta be it, like that. And this piece. I connect triangularly onto this piece. Yep, that looks kind of triangular. Let's see what's going on there. Huh. All right, all right. So I'm sitting back over on this side, getting a few things just kind of tucked up, seeing where they're all going. This is my VSS mill reverse light um, brake brake fluid, um, you know, brake switch stuff. So that's all got to be wired into um, the harness the jumper harness this guy usually lives here i'm probably gonna just tuck it up yonder um, coming to a realization this part right here right there this lives right here right there um, I'm gonna have to see what I can do as far as <coughs> utilizing this piece somehow, cutting it off somewhere about here or something, and then just getting like a three inch uh, something along the lines of whoops, this stuff, some accordion dryer vent. Tubage, but this is too. Well, maybe it's four inch. That might be just right. That's a whole different day's dealing. But for right now, I'm looking at this thing and how uh, this guy sits in here like this. <coughs> Excuse me. But farther up, obviously. And that connects to this. But what I don't know... <coughs> wow, it's... I'm shut the power off. What I don't know is where this connects to. Or where that hose went. I'm assuming it wraps around and connects to this. So if I can separate that piece, I should be able to at least wrap that one back around. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, me, on me work. So I want to take that off and try and get that one. I mean, I can at least have the defrost running over to the door. Got on that, figuring out a way to get that in there. So um, I'm gonna put around with that later. For now, I just kind of want to get the wiring kind of put up, do a little vacuum, and just kind of clean it out. So I was thinking about installing this thing again. Um, 
is for added dampening. Um, uh, I think I would need to take off all that again, so I'm not going to do it. But I may, may do half of it at some point. If I'm going to do half of this half of it, I should do it now. And then figure out the second half of it later. Yeah. Alright, clean it out a little bit. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to use some tub of towels and give it a quick wipe. Not imperative, but it'd be nice enough to have that green overspray on there. If it's painted, I'm not going to take it off. I'm just taking off the green dust that the vacuum won't pick up. Try not to slice my fingers open. Because <clears throat> this stuff is really sharp. I think that's clean enough to get the, uh, let me see if I want to get that thing back there. I'm going to get it back there and see if I want it. Alright. Alright. My, a punk rock hairdo on my dashboard here. Okay, so, I have everything kind of tucked up. I, put, I only put that little half a piece there. That's all that would really fit. Without cutting a bunch of stuff. I'll probably end up putting another, the other half piece down here if I even have it. I don't even know if that piece exists anymore. Um, I have a feeling there's a big chunk missing from where the ECU used to sit. So I got uh, obviously my AC cables going over here. This is my clock and um, oh, clock, uh, windshield wiper, which will go out with the main harness. Blower plugged in here. I gotta do the switch for the new blower motor. I gotta repin it to the old thing. These are just a couple of grounds that go up here. A couple of uh, three loose wires. I can't remember where they go to. I think this was, um, I don't know where it was. It's something up front that I did. Whether it be the lights. I think this is the power, the switch to the uh, fog lights that I used to have up there. So this goes to the under fuse dash and then the main relay rat's nest. This leaves me quite a bit of room. I don't think I want to put my ECU there. I think I'm going to bust it out. I'm thinking right there. Um, I'll have to take a peek and see what kind of... Because um, I got some stuff to make some brackets for it. Which is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, I got them specifically for this. So I got two of these bad boys like this. And I actually got quite a bit of weird stuff just for the brackets, but oh god, that's heavy. Um, these plates, which is what the actual ECU would attach to, and these plates attach to, if I can get it out, this guy like that. So the big one will obviously be um, bolted into the deck of the car. And this one will be up here, on top of that, and then the other one of these on the other side of probably two of these. I have to bolt them together with some joining plates, uh, or maybe just another plate underneath crossed over. I'm gonna pull out some stuff and take a peek. All right, so I kind of got a wild hair up my butt and decided to paint these shades. So I hit it up with a black primer and paint Rust-Oleum. Then I hit it up with uh, 
This goes in metallic. This happens to be of the Black Knight metallic, which is the color of my vehicle. So, it's a nice black metallic to go with the dark green metallic. And then back there on the firewall, it's a little rough and tumble because I put Gorilla waterproof patch and seal rubberized seal and spray done on there and I also painted the uh, mounts didn't paint that one decided to keep that one green at one point I was gonna paint that black but then I thought well no I might still who knows I don't know I doubt it but there's that there I don't even see it. There's one of them little details that I won't really be able to see until it's in the sun, but you kind of, you get the gist there, right? Black, gray, and green. Look good to me. Looks real good if you ask me. She get all that done. My neighbor's working a double today, so I managed to get a bunch of stinky log stuff done. All right, that looks good. That's great, actually. This looks good. This looks great, actually. I'm gonna have to really think about what I'm gonna need to do next here because it might be carpet time. Okay, it can't be carpet time, but. They still have to do a bunch of soldering and wiring and stuff, but damn it if I'm not close. Close to this. Um, and I can start putting that stuff back together. I'm very curious as to what this guy's gonna be like. I kinda wanna try that out. All right, this is what I was talking about. It's a raised little platform. Just big enough for it to essentially hold this. Something like that. One of the spots I had it, it sat perfectly. But I wanted to go this way. But, uh, I'll have to deal with the. Doesn't really matter where it wobbles, it matters where, where this sits. So this has to go in there. And you see, I got a bunch of <clears throat> rubber, rubber grommets that I cut holes in. It's pretty sweet if you ask me. And this dude is running in here like this. It said something like that. Uh, it fit, fit properly. It's that cable would let it. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. Okay. What's that peg back there? Peg. Oh, shit. There we go. Anyways, so sit like that. Bend these guys down. Rib nuts. You see, you sits in like yonder. What's that? Um, I was thinking about fuse box up there, but I think I want to keep my wires up there. I think I'm gonna take the fuse box, stick it somewhere up there. All right, so over here at uh, foot level, um, you can kind of see. I'm talking about how that would be kind of kind of be perfect to try and fit this little guy up there. That ain't gonna work. So uh, looking at this, I know I'm gonna take this off. This isn't lining up quite right, so I wanted to figure out why that is, or else probably because I never tightened that up up there. That would probably fix that a little bit. <clears throat> but I need to run the main electrical through there, so I know I'm going to have to take this back off, at least this. If not uh, that, but that's just two bolts and then nothing um, to run that main electrical through. But in the meantime, uh, <clears throat> I thought about doing a double decker. I 
doing a twofer. Build two of those, one rack on top of the other one. And then I thought against that. <clears throat> Still kind of figuring out uh, where I want to put it. I might even put it like upside down like this. Be easy to get to. But in all likelihood I'll probably just end up hanging it back on the old ECU hook back here. Something kinda along those lines. But I'll probably end up building a bracket kind of like this. Put it right there. somewhere in that vicinity something like that pulled this guy out to see what kind of clearance I have as far as the radio goes and then this is about where it's gonna live it's actually more up like this uh, and then I can kind of judge where stuff's gonna go from there but whew, I'm almost ready for the steering wheel carpet dash and all that I just got to uh I started the wire harness I guess so I guess that'll be the next video but for now, I think I'm done with this video. I think I've tried to cram enough in here. Um, so, yep, these will go to that. That's easily taken care of. Bada bing, bada boom, main relay. Just gotta shorten all these wires up, find somewhere to strap it up up there. Can always find a place. And start putting it back together and start zip tying stuff up and out of the way. Getting ready for the Legion, but wire harness is going to be a little bit. It's going to take me a minute to get that thing done. And then I got to finish cleaning that. Uh, new head, the old head is back on its way back. Be it tomorrow or Tuesday, it'll be back in Tampa where it can rot in hell for all I give a shit. Uh, as long as I get my money back. Then I'll be buying a better head from a way more reputable company for just about a hundred. 115 bucks more. Way 100% reputation. Uh, and the reviews are all very good. It's all about packing and <laughs> speediness and communication. It's a big one. Do still have some stuff left to do on this one, the main seal. And then I get to put the uh, flywheel on, which is hiding back there. And then I can work my way towards the clutch and stuff once I get the head on. In a box of timing parts over here, including ARP bud stolts, guides, and chain. And, uh, yeah, and I can really start fitting that, but for right now, this guy is shiny. That's a beautiful shiny. That's a beautiful shiny. And that's that. Just as a quick afterthought here, I just remembered I have this uh, um, heat vent right down here. I will shoot hot air directly down on this. <clears throat> so I'm either gonna have to come up with some kind of heat shield diverter, uh, which shouldn't be too hard, or uh, figure out a different spot for it, but it sure does look good right there. Decisions. We're gonna be more decisive. <laughs>